How you doing guys, it's LSP. The uh, the date is the 29th of April, 2021. So this is uh, for you guys for the smart talk. I'm really sorry I couldn't be there today. Um, back to normal next week. What I will say, um, I'm going to do the analysis uh, on Swiss Borg as normal, uh, CHSB, and then the topics, which I was going to discuss this week, I'll leave them to next week, so we'll do it that way. It keeps the video nice and compact, uh, and you guys can just watch the video, and then you know we can get back to it next week as normal. The other thing that I'll say as well is that this video is unlisted at the moment. So you have the link, you'll be able to watch the video. Yeah, it's not going to be too long, um, and then you can get back to the talk. And then after that, uh, maybe sometime later, t you know, this evening or tomorrow, uh, I'll make it public on the YouTube channel so people can re-watch it as well. Uh, and we are actually working on a, on a process now to hopefully record the smart talks, but this is in the works because we need to find a way that's, uh, uh, that works um, in terms of quality, has to be very good quality. So when it's played back, it's uh, you know we can hear the entire talk and, and so on. So going to Swiss Borg, uh, obviously we've had some great you know uh, great announcements uh, pre um, uh, recently regarding the um, you know the doubling of the rate you know for the yield you know and as expected you know Swiss Borg is 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 strong and I just want to point out now before we you know before we go any further you know we went through a a period of about two weeks, you know, uh, and, and I mentioned this in one of the smart talks previously, um, where people were getting a little bit concerned, you know, what am I going to do? And this is obviously when price was here, all the all the worst times when price was here, and then here, and then here, uh, and then obviously this is where things started to slow down in terms of the negativity. Um, we had a really nice reaction, you know, back up here, and then as we dipped into this area down here um, this is effectively where it stopped i noticed that the net then there was there's not a lot of negativity and i just want to say something about this it's a testament to the chat it's a testament to the channel the people in the community you know um, going out of their way to help going out of their way to say you know and to and to guide the you know these people that were quite stressed out um, and we know obviously when we're dealing with money people are going to get stressed out but it's a testament to the chat and the people that are that are in there and the people that are part of this community for stepping up you know and these are the things that i notice yeah um you know because it's not nice when all of that negativity hits the channel you know and, and people are trying to lift the spirits up because remember we have very experienced traders myself included who know this is just the normal ebb and flow yeah, and there are people, unfortunately, that can't see past 10 minutes, yeah, um, and like I said, in terms of experience, you know, I've, I've been trading and investing for, for a very, very long time. For me, I've experienced this a few times, you know, I say a few times, I've, I've experienced it quite a lot, and when you go through that process, I'm able, for example, I use myself as the example, I'm able to see 10 years down the line with Swiss Borg. Yeah, um, and be patient to allow that to unfold because I have a plan to invest. It's not just I'm going to throw money into CHSB and then forget about it for ten years. Um, it's a plan. It's an executed plan as it's going up. I'm looking for accumulation points, you know, and so on. So I'll get into the analysis in a second, but I wanted to kind of get that out. You know, get that in there now because it's it's really important. And like I said, kudos to the community um, and 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 those that stepped in to help and as it stands right now you know you guys will know <laughs> you've heard me say 128 before the end of the month yeah this is this was my kind of quote me moment yeah um and if we go over to the daily chart we can see this turning point you know um i'm sure many of you in this you know that are listening to the video now um have gone through the analysis since i started posting videos on the youtube channel so you'll know about this and this and all of this. And, you know, I kind of guided everybody through this up and down process. And again, the people in the community, you know, were trying to explain, don't worry, everything's fine, you know, but we technically went through this all the way up to the point where it's at now. And I, I want to make a, a very clear distinction between what we sometimes hear on some of these channels and, and you know, those who actually know what they're talking about. Um, Remember, and, and this is not a arrogant statement, what I'm about to say now, you know, it should, it should actually give you confidence. 
everything that I've done up to this point, I've said before it happens. And there's a reason for that. It's because what I, what I do and how I do it works and it's extremely consistent. Somebody made a mention in one of the initiatives, it was a comment saying he wasn't too sure whether he wanted to vote yes or no for a specific initi you know, initiative. And he made a comment about the technical analysis saying when it's a bull market, you know, technical analysis works. But when it's a bear market, you know, it's not consistent, you know, um, and it's a fair comment. But I wanted to just quickly hit on this because it ties into what I'm, what I'm you know, what I'm saying now. Technical analysis, me personally, anyway, technical analysis, the way that I, you know, approach technical analysis, um, it's not technical analysis. It's actually an understanding of price delivery. There's a big, big difference. And more importantly, I'm 87% sure most of the time when I'm taking trades. You know, for me, the, whether it's whether we're in a bull market or a bear market is completely irrelevant. Yeah. Um, I have the stats to prove this over 15 years that I can show, you know, that I'm 87% of the time I'm short on for, on the Forex market. Yeah. I prefer to short, you know, um, it's easier to make money when you're shorting, you know, and so on. So, um, it works basically what I'm saying works. And I'm so glad that I'm able to pr present this information before the fact. Yeah. Because it's a testament to how price is moving around. When we look at Swissborg now, in terms of right now, where we could be headed. We know where we're headed, guys. We've said this many, many times throughout the Smart Talks, throughout the YouTube channel, people in the chat, and it's not just me. You've got a lot of a lot of people, Danzo, you've got Colin, you've got Ben, you've got, you know, the guys that are astute, with, you know, in investing and trading, who all see the same thing, this kind of 125, 130 level. We know that once price gets there, meaning up here, we're going to stabilize maybe, but we probably won't be going lower again. Yeah. And you can see that price since we made this low down here, price has had a really nice grind. It's dipped beautifully back into this area, accumulated some more, you know, buy, uh, buy orders and then off it's gone. It just dipped there just on the top end uh, and then off it's gone. And you can see just this last little portion and, and going back to the 128 by the end of the month. I mean, I've only got what a couple of days left. Um, well, one day one day because there's only 30 days in April if I remember um sorry I'm really bad with dates you know and, and months and things like that but um I'm pretty sure there's only 30 days in April so I've got literally one day for my one 120 uh, 128 target to be hit but even if it doesn't it's irrelevant because the structure is still the same um CHSB is very strong it's showing some great momentum to the upside now uh, you'll notice on this small pullback it's not deep yeah it's a nice controlled efficient move to the upside we stabilized in this area just here and then we're getting this secondary little pop just now you know we've taken out this but there's a lot of resting liquidity up here so um i would expect price to pop and just really go but if we look at the week as a whole and you'll notice obviously that i'm going into live charts um it's a little bit easier because it's not um um uh, powerpoint generated yeah i didn't want to do a powerpoint I just want to do a kind of live live video um but we have this uh you know this week's price delivery you know was um was quite efficiently traded you can see it's really really nice look at the look at the um we had this dip and then a quick quick reversal yeah very important nice stabilizing here and then it starts to grind up, stabilizes a little bit more, starts to grind up, stabilizes a little bit more, just dips in a little bit here, but it stabilizes again. Then it pops again and you'll see probably another level of stabilizing and then we'll potentially pop over the weekend uh, as we're going into sort of Friday and Saturday. Um, and what's important to note through this week is when you look at price like this, you'll notice that it's controlled. Yeah, it's not getting ahead of itself. When we see these aggressive candles these big drops uh, this big run you see the volatility here we're not seeing that at all we're seeing a very nice calm controlled move to the upside yeah which bodes extremely well for swiss bulk strength yeah and this is the key this is what we need to focus on the fact that price and the momentum the push to the upside now is very very strong OK, so i'll leave the analysis at that guys again i do apologize that i wasn't able to come to the, the smart talk today um just i'm um, for personal reasons um but i will be back to normal um next week you know for thursday 
uh, where we will, you know, just just crack on as we normally do, and I'll be around to ask, you know, to answer questions for, you know, for anybody. And I'll I'll go into the topics that we uh, that we went into previously, and I'll do one each week, so we can kind of go in into a little bit more detail. Uh, I hope everybody's having an awesome awesome day, um, and uh, you know, this is where this is where I want to see it, and I'm expecting that pop now. Yeah, um, over the next couple of days. We do have the AMA, which will be uh, coming next week as well, um, which may or may not play a factor in this. Um, I do see people jumping into CHSB, trying their best to get in as much as they can before that uh, before that happens, because they believe it's going to rip to the upside. Um, but we'll see. I, I I don't know. I'm glad I'm just in it before it happens, you know. Um, and if we do get some favourable news, which I'm sure there will be. Then we may start to see some, you know, some pretty nice upside. Potentially the one thirties and one forties. That'd be very, very nice. And if we stabilise up here, you know, we're 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 ready to go. Yeah. So I'll leave it at that, guys. Again, um, thank you very much for watching the video. I will catch up with you guys in the chat. Ben, I'm really sorry I couldn't be there today, uh, and I'm sure you've done a great job as always. And I will catch up with you obviously uh, in in private DM. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.